Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still shaking my head and laughing at these nutters that think Tucker Carlson is a patriot and Trump is the only one that can solve things with Vladimir Putin. Putin had 16 years in the KGB. Trump had 14 years on NBC. He played Trump and he played Tucker, and it's unfortunate that people think this clown is intelligent. Tucker Carlson lived up to his Sucker Carlson moniker after handing Putin a silver platter to spread his propaganda for the right-wing crazies to ingest between freedom convoys and book burning. I have a laugh getting into Tucker getting owned, losing shoes, I dig into Twitter's totally false video metrics, plus Biden goes dark Brandon on those questioning his mental fitness, and I dig into fresh crazy from Candace Owens, Mike Lindell, Visit the Bunker, and more, but first, this. He's not going to have a lot of time for golfing coming up. Hasn't had a whole lot of time recently for a whole lot of golf. And then come, of course, January 20th, 2025. Not a lot of time for golf because we're going to have a country to save. And I think it's going to be Donald Trump who will be doing the saving of this country. So he's got to get a little bit in now. Yeah, that's Makeup Lab Explosion survivor Laura Trump saying Trump's not golfing much these days. And yeah, we know that it's because he's been busy in court losing and that he won't have time to golf when he's president in 2025 because he'll be saving the world. Stop pumping the botulism into your dented forehead and donkey fat into your lips. It's rotting the last few brain cells you should probably hang on to. This is the same Donald Trump who said he would not golf as president and played 308 times in his four years in office. Most were at his own resorts, which took an estimated $144 million of taxpayer money to pay for it. I hit the driving range with my son, and we love it. But if golf's a sport, Trump's body doesn't know he's been playing. It is pouring MAGA tears. Thanks for making this one-man show possible. Say hello to me and the great subscribers in the comments while I blast the latest in stupid and more. Thank you, and I'll take some questions. President Biden, something the special counsel said in his report is that one of the reasons you were not charged is because, in his description, you are a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning, and I'm an elderly man, and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president, and I put this country back on its feet. I don't need his recommendation. It's How totally bad out of- is your memory, and can you continue as president? My memory is so bad, I let you speak. That's you, uh, that's you that's. Feel what your I'm, memory has gotten worse, Mr. No, President. Look, my memory is not good. My memory is fine. My memory. Take a look at what I've done since I become president. None of you thought I could pass any of the things I got passed. How'd that happen? You know, I guess I just forgot what was going on. Mr. Mr. Go Biden with the mic drop. I've never seen anyone try so desperately for a gotcha moment and fail on the regular as Peter Ducey. The guy steps on a rake every day. Wham, wham, wham. 2022, the red wave was coming, and guess what? It crashed up on a rock. In 2023, every close race we won. When voters have a choice between what we stand for and what Trump and the mega Republicans stand for, we win. Which makes Trump and his mega friends losers. Love it. They are losers, and they know it, and that's why this really bothers them. Thank you, Dark Brandon. It makes sense. And then, of course, we had November became uh, December, and I'm going, why isn't anybody listening or looking at all this stuff? It was, it was, I couldn't believe it. And then November became December. What? Mike's trying to uncover the truth about month fraud now? Is he going to get a calendar committee on the case? Oh, but don't worry. It gets better. And on January 9th, um, three days after um, um, January 6th, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quick. I'm going to add this to it because I didn't put it in here, but I'm going to put this in there. On January 7th and 8th, everybody, those two days get overlooked, and those two days are historical for one reason. That's the days 1.2 million Americans were deplatformed. Anybody that talked about Donald Trump, whatever, they were deplatformed on Vimeo, YouTube, Suckabucks, Facebook. Uh, churches were deplatformed. If you said anything about um, our, the elections or Donald Trump. Remember that clip I just showed about Biden calling these people losers? That's what we're talking about.
fired Fox host Tucker Carlson went to the Kremlin for a much-hyped interview that had right-wing crazies declaring victory because they are morons. Tucker said not a single Western journalist has bothered to interview Putin since 2022. The truth is, reporters from every major outlet have been repeatedly turned down. Putin waited patiently for this moron, or as Hillary Clinton calls him. It shows me what I think we've all known. He's what's called a useful idiot. I mean, if you actually read translations of what's being said on Russian media, they make fun of him. Chef's kiss, Hillary. This one-on-one -on -one was completely controlled by Putin from the get-go. Tucker got his signature prep school hyena laugh in the first minute, and then Putin ate him alive. Are we having a talk show or a serious conversation? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the quote. <laughs> Thank you. It's a formidable <laughs> serious <laughs> Because your basic education is in history, as far as I understand. Yes. So if you don't mind, I will take only 30 seconds or one minute to give you a short reference to history for giving you a little historical background. Please. Tucker is used to filming his hero worshippers and ball tanners, and he had to sit emasculated while Putin went through his version of history starting from the 8th century for over 30 minutes with Tucker barely getting a word in. There was no talk of war crimes, poisoning rivals with polonium. Putin trotted out falsehoods about the history of Ukraine, that Poland forced Hitler to invade it, and the ridiculous claim that the Ukraine, a country with the Jewish president, is brimming with neo-Nazis. Have you seen Trump's base? Who do you think you are? I wanted to ask the then US leadership. With the backing of whom? With the backing of CIA, of course. The organization you wanted to join back in the day, as I understand. We should thank God they didn't let you in. Although, it is a serious organization. I understand. My former vis-a-vis -vis in the sense that I served in the first main directorate, Soviet Union's intelligence service. They have always been our opponents. A job is a job. Look at that. Tucker knows this is not going well, but he also knows that his base will think he's a hero just for being there, so he sits uncomfortably while he's mocked so much that he loses a shoe. I, I mean, I'm just amazed he wore socks, seeing as the man of the people is usually in loafers for his creep show chit-chats. But look at his feet. He cannot stop. And you think this guy isn't noticing Tucker's discomfort? And so why don't you just call Biden and say, let's work this out? Why would I call him? What should I talk to him about? Or beg him for what? And, and what messages do you get back? You're going to deliver such and such weapons to Ukraine? Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Please don't. Putin wants to absorb Ukraine as part of his Russian empire, and the Ukrainians who don't comply will not survive. If Russia seizes Ukraine because of this, what's the plan for the millions of refugees this decision created? Because it'll be more expensive than supplying weapons. And when Putin starts on the countries he claims he's not interested in, there will be NATO casualties. At the time of filming this video, this interview had 130 million views if that's what you want to believe. I've noted this before, and it's important to get into again. The main Twitter video view metric is triggered when a user watches a video for at least two seconds and sees at least 50% of the video player in view. Two seconds. Tucker's interview with Putin was two hours and 17 minutes. That's 8,220 seconds. If Twitter considers two seconds of view, then that means one had to watch 0.02433% for it to register as a view. And as per Twitter's actual guidelines, you don't need the entire video in the feed for it to count. You only need half of it. If you just scrolled past the video slow enough, guess what? Your, your view, you viewed it. You count. I know this video will be watched by many. I suffered through the stupid, but people need to know about the legitimacy of the site providing a platform for the illegitimate host and a dictator. Now, the one thing Tucker did do was ask for the return of Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich. But it's pretty ridiculous to see the fired host from the entertainment channel for Mary Cousins with one shoe on actually thinking that Putin would just give up some major leverage to Carlson to show his decency. I appreciate you bringing up Evan, but you're not asking your dad if you can borrow the car for the night. I just gotta ask you one last question, and that's about someone who's very famous in the United States, probably not here. Evan Gershkovitz, who's the Wall Street Journal reporter, he's 32. 
um, and he's been in prison for almost a year. Uh, this is a huge story in the United States, and I just want to ask you directly, without getting into the details of it or your version of what happened, if as a sign of your decency, you would be willing to release him to us and we'll bring him back to the United States. Spoiler alert, he says no. Still have my source, folks. According to Ronnie Jackson, these won't clear up at all. Brilliant. I'm stuck with these thanks to her for, quote, mishandling my own Trump tiny mushroom that I forgot to triple bag and it's dripping from the eye. And his septum has imploded. This hurts my chances with Sister Ivanka, so that's not okay. That's why I'm stuck with Paul Stanley in a Bon Jovi wig. Gavin Newsom's old girl. I'm the man who's supposed to have his finger on the Ivanka button or the zipper or the gimp mask at three in the morning when Kushner won't make it happen. You're embarrassing, bro, in his hamburger target clothes. That's okay. This way he doesn't have to get ketchup on the walls. I'm used to it. Thank you. I see every tip from pennies to dollars. They are hugely appreciated and help make this show possible. If you love what I do here and you can afford to help out, throw me a buck with the PayPal link in the pinned comment or drop me a super thanks with this button. And please take two seconds after this video to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. These things are free and help the show grow. Thank you. But unfortunately, that is the reality of what happens when it comes to DEI. And what he is remarking on is true. I would be terrified if I got onto a plane and I saw a woman uh, flying the plane, and I know that we have the United CEO saying that he just wants to fulfill a quota. He just wants there to be more women and wants there to be more black people. And he's not concerned at first with qualifications. That is something that should alarm all of us guys, honestly. In the USA, only 5% of commercial pilots are women compared to countries such as Ireland and South Africa at nearly 10%, India over 12, and Canada and Germany at seven. You know, a lot of people want to do things, but don't because they have a 95% less chance of being hired due to bias, thanks to people such as Candace. Does she get this same reaction when she goes to urgent care and the doctor's a lady? An all-women cockpit crew made the world's longest flight, nearly 10,000 miles for 17 hours, set the world record. The only time a pilot has ever made me nervous was I had one that yawned through every announcement. Hey, Kevin speaking. <sighs> yeah, didn't, didn't exactly instill confidence. Now, an airline is not going to hire you just because you're female or brown. You still need to go through the steps that include earning a private pilot certificate, earning an instrument rating, earning a commercial pilot certificate, becoming a certified flight instructor to earn the flight experience required by airlines, then add a multi-engine rating to the commercial pilot certificate, get the ATP certificate, then between 500 to 1500 hours of flight time, apply for a first officer position to help navigate and operate flights before upgrading to a captain. This all takes years. There are no shortcuts. These people seem pretty concerned with qualifications with some casual exceptions, like the diapered host of a reality TV show with a string of bankruptcies deciding to run for president. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie. Again, good dude. It has been a glorious week for the United States of America because true patriot Swanson TV dinner air rebel journalists fought the globalists by interviewing the naked on a horse dictator. This was a very dangerous mission. He had to take a private jet there, stay in the finest hotel. I mean, Putin rolled out the red carpet for him because it was a chance to use Tucker's fly fishing line as puppet strings to manipulate Mr. Carlson and control the narrative for the Jim Bro freedom window licking eyes too close together fan base that we both rely on. Turn the stupid machine up to 11. You know, conspiracy theories are just fantastic because they make dumb people feel super smart. As if they like know something special, so they have like one sentence they can drop at a party. Now, me and my great value taco shell skin Georgia Gremlin were tuned in and hitting refresh, 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 anticipating the interview of the century. And we were discussing how good Tucker is for the world and how I just love talking to Marjorie Taylor Greene because she is several inches shorter than me. So she really has to like shout to get the words up to my puffy beat face. And I love it because it's louder and she sounds like a songbird. My dog, the bounty hunter headed beauty, sounds like Julie Andrews drank a glass of organic honey. But if I see a shred of the knee down barf town that looks like someone took a rusty switchblade to two packs of cheap bacon and just carved out a pair of mismatched trotters with skin that looks like it was wrapped in unwashed head of dirty Napa cabbage and smells like those super funky mushrooms, you get like wafting through late night Chinatown and you're like, 
What table ordered that? Can't we just be normal people and get cold beer, orange chicken, and some dumplings? You know, if I saw a werewolf with a Chinese mayu in his hand, it would be less alarming than the time I was exposed to Marjorie Taylor Greene's baby carrot factory reject toes with her turquoise painted tips that probably had the nail salon shut down. Because what is the rule, MTG? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. Lindell is a patriot. Mega tears. Tis tis, Tommy. Why do you have a problem with real patriots? Is it because you are bought and sold and paid for by China, Russia, and Soros? Maybe take some of the dark money and funnel it into educating yourself on the truth instead of this garbage. Mega tears. I'm a teamster and I'm voting for Trump. Mega tears. And that he won't have time to golf when he's president in 2025 because he'll be saving the world. Hey, stop pumping the botulism into your dented forehead and donkey fat into your lips. Uh, donkey fat. It has been a glorious week for the United States of America. <coughs> Tucker's used to filming his hero worshippers and ball tanners. <laughs> it's, it's true. Uh, Rebel journalists fought the globalists by interviewing the naked on a horse dictator. <laughs> so tough. He's so tough. But it's pretty ridiculous to see the fired host from the entertainment channel for Married Cousins with one shoe on actually giving... Uh, now me and my great value taco shell skin. <laughs> now me and my great value taco shell skin. George. Now me and my great value taco shell skin. Georgia Gremlin. <laughs> While he's mocked so much that he loses a shoe, I'm just amazed he wore socks. Seeing as the man of the people is usually in loafers for his creep show chit chats. That's what they are. But if I see a shred of the knee down barf town, the <laughs> useful idiot. Chef's kiss, Hillary. Mm. <laughs> Cold beer, mandarin chicken, dumplings. You know, if I saw a werewolf with a Chinese menu in his hand. <laughs> oh, it's a great song. Mike is trying to uncover the truth about month fraud now. Is he going to get a calendar committee on the case? <laughs> My dog, the bounty hunter headed beauty, sounds like Julie Andrews drank a glass of organic honey. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please stick around and check out another one of my videos. Say hello in the comments. Find my stand up on Spotify, streamed by millions, and add me on Facebook and Instagram. It all helps. Be cool, be kind, take care.